My name is Prem Mahendra and I'm a consultant hemato-oncologist and I work at BMI Healthcare. My role as a consultant hemato-oncologist involves looking after patients with blood cancers and these blood cancers are mainly leukaemia, myeloma or lymphoma and in that role I will be giving patients chemotherapy. For some patients with blood cancers one of the other treatment options is a stem cell transplant and if they were to go down that route then I would look after them whilst they were having the, uh, the transplant. Myeloma is a type of cancer that affects the bone marrow uh, but patients with myeloma can present with bone pain and 60 to 70 percent of patients with myeloma will have bone pain as their main presenting symptom. They can also sometimes present with features that their bone marrow is not functioning normally so they may feel more tired, they may have bruising or may be getting infections more frequently and finally because of the protein that the myeloma cell produces causes kidney damage sometimes patients are picked up because they've got abnormal kidney function. Leukemia is a type of cancer that affects the bone marrow and as a result a patients present usually in three different ways. One is with tiredness and shorter breath on very minimal exertion. Sometimes they may be more prone to infections and there might be an increased frequency of infections. And thirdly, they may present with bleeding or bruising. Lymphoma, unlike the other hematological cancers, tends to affect the lymphatic system. So the commonest symptom for patients with lymphoma is to present with a swelling. So this is usually as a lump in the neck, in the armpit or the groin. And sometimes these lumps can be associated with other symptoms that can be fevers or sweats or weight loss. So when we look at patients who might be at risk of hematological cancers, um, there isn't a defined population that is more at risk. But what we do know is that these cancers are commoner as we get older, and they're also slightly more commoner in men than in women. Patients generally know what their baseline health is like. So if they've got symptoms where they might be feeling more tired than normal, or their frequency of infections is increasing, or there's unexpected bleeding or bruising, or some unexpected swelling, or they notice a, a lump somewhere, or they've got more bone pain than they usually would have, for instance, more back pain, then my advice to them would be to go and see their GP promptly. For the blood cancers, similar to all other cancers, study after study has shown that patients with early stage disease do much better than patients who present later. And also the landscape for blood cancers in terms of treatment for blood cancers has changed radically in the last decade. So there are many new treatments coming online. So our cure rates, for instance, for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma has increased by about 15% in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and for multiple myeloma our cure rates are now almost double what they were a decade ago and it's um, for these reasons that patients should seek treatment promptly.